guys and welcome back to Art a la Carte. So we have been drawing the human face and we are now moving on to the lips. Now people think when you are drawing the lips, the most important lines are the outward lines that contour the lip. This is wrong. The most important line on the lip is in fact the lip line itself. The lip line is where the top lip meets the bottom lip. This is the line that is going to determine the shape of your mouth and all of that fun stuff. So really you want to look at that. Now sometimes your mouth will not be closed, it will be open, so you're not going to have a lip line, you're going to have a lip shape as your mouth is open. That negative space is really, really important to look at. A couple of features to look at as well is the top of your lip does have that little bit of a, a dimple coming down. Some people call it the cupid's bow. And then your lower lip is usually a little thicker. But people's lips are so wide in variety from thick lips to full lips to thin lips to tiny lips to no lips. I don't know. I love my lips. And so the best way that I can suggest for you to begin to practice drawing lips is to observe lips. And you should have a pair of lips of your very own. Whenever I could um, study artists working, especially animators that worked at Disney, and I would watch like interviews with them and they would be in their studio, they all had something in common. Oh, I besides paper and pencils. They had a mirror. There was always usually a mirror right there in their studio. And I thought to myself, I wonder why that is. I wonder why they have a mirror in their studio. I mean, are they always checking, making sure they're looking so good? Well, no, it's because that is the best reference that you can get for drawing your facial expressions is by looking at your own face. So I myself have a mirror that I keep right at my desk. And so if I'm drawing a character and I need to look at my face, I can kind of take hints. Even if I'm drawing a guy character, I can look at my face and take clues and hints on how my face um, makes that, that expression. And then I can be able to then put that into the character that I'm drawing. So here's my suggestion for you. Find a mirror. It's best if you can have a little mirror that stands on its own so that you can uh, draw away. Or, you know, but if you have to hold a mirror, then hold it with your non-dominant hand and just look at your face, make an expression with your lips and try to draw your lips. If you have to go into the bathroom, sit on the counter if your parents don't care, as long as you don't get in trouble for sitting on the counter and draw your face. All of your friends and family are going to think you are completely weird and crazy and that's okay because every artist's family and friends think they are weird and crazy for doing this until we explain why we're doing this. So you can either keep it a mystery and remain crazy and weird or you can explain to them what you're doing and then they'll think you're genius. So have fun just drawing a ton of lips. Fill up sketchbooks full of lips. And yes, I'm going to have a lot more tutorials on lips and teeth and guy lips and girl lips and baby lips and granny and grampy's lips and all of that. But I want you to first learn how to draw your lips. So this is the end of this video and get this video edited so I can get it back up to you guys. And until next time, God bless you guys and we'll see you later. Bye-bye.